Hello there, modern man. In today's episode, we're going to talk about something that's interesting is that what causes decreased penis sensation in men? I got asked about this question a lot and I thought I would do an episode about it. So I'm Dr. Ann Trong. I'm a erectile dysfunction specialist, medical doctor. I've treated over 7,000 men with erectile dysfunction. And today we're going to talk about what can contribute to decreased sensation in the penis. It could be from injury or trauma to the penis or in the pelvic area between your penises and your anuses. It could be from nerve damage from conditions like diabetes and multiple sclerosis and can be low testosterone. Also side effects of certain medication, I'll go over that later, but that's probably the most common reason as to decrease sensation in the penis. And another cause is prolonged pressure or riding a bicycle with long time pressure on your pelvic area. And also alcohol and smoking can contribute to it as well. Now, symptoms of decreased sensation mean loss of sensation feeling in the penis, tingling or pins and needles sensation, cold or burning sensation, and also difficulty achieving and maintaining an erection or reduced sexual pleasure or difficulty reaching orgasm. Now, decreased sensation can impact your sexual function and satisfaction and make it harder for you to get aroused, maintain an erection, or even reach orgasm. And so treatment depends upon the underlying cause that contribute to the problem. So is it due to diabetes and you got to watch your blood pressure? Is it due to medication? Then the medication needs adjustment, but I'll go over the medication later as well. If it's due to pressure in the pelvic area, then you probably need to decrease the amount of time that you're putting pressure in your pelvic area that's causing you to get numb. I recommend you do a pelvic floor therapy with the physical therapist, where like as if doing Kegel and just knowing what the reason why you get numb testosterone replacement therapy if your testosterone levels are low are helpful and recommendations such as stopping smoking and just reducing alcohol intake so if you start with that you're gonna go a long way in many cases penis numbness is temporary and sensation can be restored if it prolonged you definitely need to go see the doctor so let's talk about certain medication that can cause penis sensitivity and therefore affecting sexual function. The number one are antidepressant or medication that is used for depression. Those are classified as SSRI or serotonin reuptake inhibitors and these cause decreased genital sensitivity, erectile dysfunction, as well as affecting orgasm as well. Medications such as antipsychotic medication like risperidone can contribute to it. Anti-epileptic medications such as gabapentin and tapiramate. But tapiramate can also be used for headache medication as well. Blood pressure medication like beta blockers, diuretic medication can contribute as well. And if you have prostate cancer, medication that treat Prostate cancer will cause decreased sensitivity. Also, I mentioned about low testosterone can cause that as well. And if you're on medication that suppresses your immunity, these medication can affect it. Medication for Parkinson, like silicone, can also affect it as well. And medications such as finasteride, the one that you take for hair to stop hair loss, can actually cause sensitivity. Even Common medications such as heartburn medications like Zantac, Pepsid, Protonic, and Nexium can affect these as well. Now, how does antidepressant medication, which is probably a very common medication, affect sexual function? Because it affects libido, and you need your libido to start in order for you to get aroused in the brain 
So that way things can get initiated down below the belt. It also affects arousal difficulty as well. And certainly it affects blood flow to the penis and therefore affecting the rigidity of the penis. It also affects orgasm by delaying orgasm and also decreasing sensitivity and also will affect ejaculation and also lubrication issues in women. And this is probably the number one reason why people stop taking antidepressant medication because it's affecting sexual function. Studies have estimated about 40 to 65% of people taking antidepressant medication have sexual dysfunction. Common medications such as citrulline, paroxetine, and fluoxetine like Prozac and Lexapro cause more side effects. But medications such as bupropion or mirtazapine are associated with lower rate of sexual side effects as well. So what do you do to kind of like, you need to take your medication, but you may ask the doctor to switch you to another one with less side effects, or you can schedule sex around medication timing. Like before you take the next medication, you may want to schedule sex then, or consider taking drug holiday where you maybe get off of the medication for about a month. But also, please discuss with your doctor first before you do this, because if you stop medication abruptly, you will have some side effects as well, too. So it's important to note that depression itself can cause sexual dysfunction. So treating the depression may also improve the sexual function as well. But prior to that, just know that you can regain your sexual function with just three habits that I discussed before. Stopping smoking, moderating alcohol, and wash your weight. But how do you watch your weight? By eating a Mediterranean diet and get some type of exercise 30 minutes, three to four times a week. Doing those three will probably go a long way and probably will decrease your chance of being on depression medication. So I just wanted to answer this question. It's been asked a lot what causes decreased sensitivity to penis, which is several at this time, but this is something for you to go back to. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe and notify of each and every episode. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. And just know that you don't have to live with sexual dysfunction or erectile dysfunction. We have a safe and discreet space where we will coach you to regain sexual confidence again. And you can find that out in our Modern Man Club at noedman.com. Check out the link below here. And I hope to see you in there. Just know there are alternative to sexual function beside medication and surgery. And I will see you in the Modern Man Club and also in the next episode.